Another all-out Strauss MCP Aquablation Day. Today's thoughts, conservation and education. Two of the pillars of necessity in this day and age. Conservation. Our recent national shortage in IV fluids has made some hospitals limit elective surgeries that utilize large amounts of sterile saline, such as robotic prostate aquablation. Our novel Strauss MCP or meticulous cauterization protocol technique of aquablation not only allows patients to go home right after surgery so there's no need for hospital stay, it also eliminates post-op bleeding but also does not require post-op continuous bladder irrigation so that we use only two to three bags of saline total compared to 15 to 20 bags on a regular aquablation case with a one or two day post-op hospital stay with continuous bladder irrigation. That's an 85% reduction in the amount of saline bags used. It's rare that we get a win-win with zero patient post-op bleeding outcomes and a significant overall cost and IV bag use reduction. Education. Really blessed to have pelvic floor therapist Dr. Juanita Benedict come in to observe our Strauss MCP aquablation cases to help develop a novel online program called Aqua Control, a pelvic floor therapy program for our patients. When we perform aquablation, we're removing prostatic obstruction that's been there for several years. It's like opening up a huge dam. All of a sudden, you have a powerful, overcompensated bladder working against a weaker, less compensated urinary sphincter and pelvic floor. Most patients do not realize the importance of pelvic floor strengthening both prior to and after surgery to help speed up their urinary health recovery after surgery. Surgery is just one part of the equation. We're hoping to get all our patients on board with the online aqua control program to better the overall patient experience.